hay down here. Okay, this is, I don't know what brand it is, but it's a used to be a gamer PC. Anyway, it's getting an error on boot. Warning, CPU or JP11-12 uh, has been changed. Enter I will smart setting in the CMOS setup and remember to save before you quit. Now, I didn't notice that the first time I booted it up. It sat right there and I hit. I thought, well, I'll hit F1. You see, you know, at the bottom it says F1 to continue. Oh, F1 to continue, delete to enter setup. I had F1. I was thinking I had it backwards in my head. So, uh, it's got two hard drives in it. I used to play with it. And then the, the guy, he belonged to my neighbor. And then years ago, we used to play with it in my van. We had it in my van out there. I had, uh, it has an air conditioner in it and a regular 110 volt. And it had a cord out run out to it and a power strip. And actually a battery backup for computers we had in there too. And we were running them off of it, just playing. But, uh, seeing what could be done. But it's a, um, 733 megahertz. It has XP. I put Fedora on it along with its XP that came with it. But at the end, in, in its day, it was a gamer PC. It has a handle on the top, so you can carry it. It kind of was, kind of looked neat at the time, you know. Anyway, and that little blue blue monitor behind it—that's for my server over here. I couldn't remember, you know, what was going on with it. It's got five four megabyte of memory. Different. I took them out and looked at them, kind of made sure everything looked like. We would see what they were and everything. One of them I couldn't tell what was in it, what what size it was. So, 256, a 64, and something else. So that would make five, whatever makes 512. The covers are off right now, of course. But uh, I couldn't remember if it was like a, a gigahertz and over. It might have been a good server. I mean, it could still be a server, but uh, if you're going to serve like multimedia stuff, it probably wouldn't handle that too well I like to have at least a you know a, a two gigahertz for that so uh, let's see delete 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 this time I'll go in there I really don't know let's just hit <coughs> don't see any errors in the uh, <coughs> video stuff Use my left hand so I can hold the phone with this hand. BIOS startup. I'm kind of just doing this to help me remember it when I get back in here. Video BIOS shadow enabled. That's usually a bad idea. Hit enter and it didn't. How do you change it? Oh, up and down arrow keys. That's what I'm doing. Oh. Up and down to select. F1. Usually you just hit enter or right and left arrow keys to change stuff. Enter doesn't do it. Well, I need to be back in my room cleaning it up a little bit so I can put my server back in its spot instead of fiddling with this up here. So, uh, I'm going to turn off the phone so I can have all my hands and see and think. Alright, bye. Just a little. Remember what this thing is next time. Alright, bye.